Hello everyone, this is Eric J with Zyzel here with this how-to video for the Zyzel PK5000Z ADSL wireless router for Quest. In this video, we'll cover how to set up your PK5000Z as a modem only or transparent bridge. You can use similar steps if you need to configure a Zyzel Q100 VDSL router for Quest. You might already own your own home router and it might be easier to keep using it instead of plugging everything into your PK5000Z having to reprogram the router for your network's needs, and so forth. In this case, you can set up your PK5000Z to act only as a DSL modem. To begin, make sure you have a computer connected to your PK5000Z and type the address 192.168.0.1 into your computer's web browser. When the PK5000Z's home menu appears, click on the gray wireless setup icon. In modem mode, you won't want the wireless LAN enabled, so click on the Disable button in the wireless radio field. When finished, click Apply. The PK5000Z will save your settings and disable the wireless radio. This may take a few seconds. Next, at the top of the browser window, click on the red Advanced Setup icon. In the IP addressing section of the left margin menu, near the top, click on WAN Settings. Before continuing, if you're using PPPoE from Quest, you should write down your PPPoE username and PPPoE password if you don't already have this info readily available. You'll need to configure it on your existing router. In the ISP protocol drop-down menu, select Transparent Bridging. When finished, click Apply. The PK5000Z will save your settings and enter Transparent Bridge mode immediately. Once your PK5000Z is bridged, if you're using PPPoE from Quest, you'll need to program your PPPoE username and PPPoE password into your existing home router so that it can obtain an IP address from Quest. Consult your router's manufacturer for more details on how this can be done. If you need to revert your PK5000Z from transparent bridge mode back to router mode, please see our other video on the PK5000Z resetting to factory defaults for further details. For more information and how-to videos, head on over to www.youtube.com forward slash